Okay, so welcome back. Anyway, today we're gonna talk a little bit about constant variables in C++. Sometimes it is necessary to have variables that are constants. That is, variables that only have one value set by the user when declared, and that is it. Constant variables are declared using the keyword const, so like this. Uh, oops. Const. So this is the keyword to declare a constant variable. Uh, we do not want to change this value ever. Like the, the value of number pi. So if pi is, let's round it up to 314, you do not want to change the value of this number through the whole through the whole code. So you would declare it as a constant value. So you just type in like const pi equals I don't know uh, 3.14 there you go and this would this would be so throughout the entire program anyway so uh, let's go ahead and write a short program and see how this works in order to basically just demonstrate this point well we're gonna write two short programs or more just to see how it works so we'll leave what we have by now this template of a sort. You can you can save these codes somewhere if you want. These lines of code, you can separate them into different projects or into sub project into sub chapters or whatever you want. But I usually uh, create one project file per a chapter so that I have at least some orientation. However, I already have this written in my notes, all of it, so I don't really even need to save it really. Anyway, so let's go ahead and type in int x and declare an integer value which will be 5. So this is a regular variable x of value 5. The value of this variable of course can be changed. For example we can we have initialized it to variable x to value 5 but we can just do this uh, x equals 10. So now we have effectively changed uh, the value of variable x. However, if down below we type in const int y equals 3, that's it. Constant variable y of value 3, uh, basically the value of this variable cannot be changed. So if I type in, I don't know, y is equal to 6, and if I just go ahead and try to run and compile this, build and compile this, you can see that I am going to get an error. I cannot change it at all. If I just delete this and run and compile again, you see the program runs without any problems. You might notice that I'm not really familiar with all the shortcuts and code blocks. I just find it, I don't use it in general. I really always use Eclipse. Uh, or Spider for Python. Those are two development environments as well. But I like to use code blocks for teaching people because it's very simple uh, to grasp, to understand, and to get around with. It's it's uh, one of the base ones. Anyway, moving on from there. So syntax for the declaration of a constant variable is pretty much as follows. So you would type in the keyword constant, const, and then you would type in the type. In this case, it's an int. And then of course, the name of the variable, in this case, it is y. We can also write const after the type, which can uh, be a little bit strange, but no big deal. Let's go, let me just, let me just uh, give you an example of that. Like I can type in int, const, I don't know, set equals 100. So this is the, this is exactly the same as me writing const int set equals 100. Oops, 100. So don't be confused if you see these two. It is exactly the same. There is no difference of whatsoever. So you don't need to worry about that. Keep in mind that a constant variable must be initialized upon the declaration of that variable. Otherwise, you will get a compile. It will not comp the program will not compile. So if I, I don't know, do this, const int w, 
it will simply say that it will simply give us an error and will say that W has not been initialized. You see, I will immediately get an error there. Uh, whoa, 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 wait. Uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Yep. This is, sorry. Uh, I cannot redeclare constant set because I've already declared it and initialized it there. I'll just do this S. Let's put it like that. Okay, let's run and compile now. Excellent. So it says const int w and this is uninitialized. So that, that's, a, that's a problem because we need to initialize it. If I simply initialize it to whatever, there we go. The program is going to run without any difficulties, without any problems of whatsoever. Problem solved. It should be noted that there is a difference between constant variables in C and C++. So I'm guessing that most of you who are learning about C++ have at least heard about C. Linux, for example, the operating system is written in C. Well, pretty much the fastest operating system on planet Earth that is currently used and the most awesome operating system. However, Windows is C++. And since we are learning C++, I am using a virtual machine of Windows. C is faster than C++ in a lot of things, or so it is stated. And the declaration of variables, uh, a lot of things are different in C, but then again, a lot of things are very similar. And C has a very tricky, con a very tricky con a syntax, which is a little bit difficult to grasp, but definitely not impossible. I might actually, I might actually design a course for C in regard to the kernel development of Linux, which can be an interesting thing, but that's, but that's those are future plans. I just wanted to mention that. So that's why every time we make a new project, I clearly state select C++, because if you select C, a lot of things will work pretty much the same way that they do in C++, but then you will run into some things where you will get an error for no re for reasons unknown to you, and you won't be able to understand why. Well, C and C++, they are very similar, but then again, uh, C++ has a lot, is a lot different in a lot of regards. But that's a, that's a story for another time uh, to compare the differences between C and C++ and why C++ came after C, etc. Yeah, that's a very, very, very long, long explanation. So I am going to go ahead and skip that here. We're gonna go ahead and jump into a yet another example of pretty much the same things here. Let's go ahead and delete this. And you see where here it says include IO stream. I can also define a value. I can stay, I can do this. Define pi uh, three point, I don't know, one four one four one five nine. So this is a define macro constant pi with value, I don't know, 3.13159. Uh, but this is this is uh, this this should this should this sh this is gonna work in C. I don't really see any reason why it actually wouldn't work in C plus plus. Let's just run it. Yep, it's gonna run here as well, no problems. But this is like. And uh, C uses macro constants. Macro commands are those that compiler executes before compiling. One such command is include that you have here. And another, uh, you have this example here where we are defining the value of pi. By convention, constant variables are written in uppercase. As you can see, this is the variable name. Okay then. So uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and continue onwards. I probably should have written this one four. Uh, if you remove all of this, like three fourteen, then it's gonna be then it's gonna be like this. Anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, move this here. Now we're going to just do, again, a basic prompt of the user to input something. 
see out enter circle enter circle radius okay so simple enough I'm pretty sure that a user will be able to do that and then we're gonna type in down below float uh, radius so this will declare a variable in which we will store the input if I've misspelled something please forgive me uh, now we need to type in std colon colon c in greater than greater than sign radius and okay this so this will be actually pulling the input from the keyboard and we will be storing it into the variable radius next up we'll type in float circle underline area equals pi multiplied by radius uh, if we included a math function we wouldn't actually need to multiply radius by radius there would be a square which we could take which we could immediately utilize but more of that later radius and there we go so we're gonna get a square it's gonna be pi times radius square we're declaring a variable circle area and then we are using the formula to compute the circle of the area the area of the circle my apologies there std colon colon c out circle uh, oops circles radius i don't know uh circle area std colon colon and l there we go so this will print out the area onto the screen the compiler replaced pi with the, the with the given number so 314 before 3.14 before compiling that is the line with float circle area equals pi so float circle area equals pi times radius times radius again is replaced with the following so we'll just copy this line one more time just like this you don't need to do this i'm just doing this for a demo Three point fourteen. Three point fourteen. So this is this is what the this is what will happen during the compile time, as this pi has been replaced with the value that has been defined right here. So there is a there's no there's no so that there is no confusion there. This whole program, uh, what we have just written, uh, will before compiling will pretty much look like this uh cd out this will be fine this will be fine this will uh, again be fine all of this is and this is the place uh, this is the place where things are going to change so before compiling just imagine that this line here does not exist so this would this would uh this will this is how this is how the this is how this entire program will look before before compiling this is the only thing here that will pretty much change and that is it that's just one i wanted to show you here okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and uh bid you farewell and we shall start with Okay, so yeah, so we'll go into the follow-up tutorial and I think we'll have just two more tutorials in this chapter and then we will move onwards.